here is the mitochondria which contain inner mitochondria matrix so let's begin to understand in this video the short video this uncoupling protein ucp function for thermogenesis so how it is possible to produce the heat from the ucp that is very simple to understand in this way we will just understand about the basic concept this is the inner mitochondrial membrane contain complexes this four complexes and the fifth is the ATP synthase enzyme. It is used for the oxidation to proton pump out and inside the more pH increase while the outside is pH decrease will lead to here is the adipose tissue also during the cold weather the lipolysis will occur and peroxide anion will produce and will move inside and use for the beta oxidation either or again pump out uh, lead to produce more heat and the beta oxidation produce more proton will pump out will also produce the heat and in this case the damage uh, can be occur the mitochondria the reactive oxygen species so here is the ATP synthase enzyme used to produce the ATP from the ADP this is a normal mechanism we are going to understand and but here you can see this is the UCP UCP is used for the proton move inside when to produce heat due to the loss of the loss of the uh, uh, energy due to the proton gradient inside is less while outside is the constriction of proton will more so the rushes of the proton inside will lead to produce heat so remember and in this way here is the beta oxidation will produce more proton as well as the production of the acetyl CoA from the beta oxidation of fatty acid after the lipolysis, the triacyl glycerol will convert into the fatty acid and glycerol, and this Krebs cycle is used to produce NADH. For further processes and production of more heat, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and share. Bye.